Hey everybody, this Lane here. Uh, most of you seen my videos I've done on blacksmithing and different projects, stuff like that. Well, I want to do a review of this Eastwood MiG-175. I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of a welding snob. It's either got to be Lincoln or Miller to get my attention. So... You may be wondering why I said that and why I'm sitting here showing you an Eastwood in my shop. Well, long story short, a few years ago I had to sell all my welding equipment. Uh, we adopted a child. Yeah, it's just bottom line. That was more important. So, when we finally got things together and it was time for me to start putting some more tools in the shop, I started looking around. This is what I've been using as my old standby. Everybody needs to learn how to stick weld. That's just the way I feel about it because just about every farm or ranch has got one of these stuck up under the workbench and a lot of people just don't want to fool with stick welding. Need to learn how to stick weld. Back to the Eastwood. So, I got to looking and the Lincoln welder I wanted, it was Lincoln 180C, and from everything I read on it, it, it was a super fine welding machine. And it was going to be about 1100 bucks, and that was, uh, that included a spool gun, I think a cart. So, anyway, that was about my budget, was $1,100, really about a grand. So I found online you could get this machine here, with a spool gun. And, as a combo, you could get their VersaCut 60 Plasma Cutter. Alright, now I hadn't used that. I'm just showing it just so you kind of get an idea of why I went Eastwood. Back to the welding machine. This is why I went Eastwood. A couple of things. You've got infinite control on your on your settings. Your amperage, your wire speed. A lot of them will have, say, infinite on uh, wire speed, but you'll have presets on your, on your amperage. Uh, not this one. You can fine-tune it. That really appealed to me. Uh, it came with a good welding lead and it's funny because the few videos i found on youtube everybody points out this hook big deal i hadn't used that hook yet but it's funny that it, it always gets point pointed out it's got a good hook on it well the fact of the matter is it's got a good a good welding gun that's a that's a tweco and my last welder i actually switched out to one of those so i was happy with it that that's a good a good welding lead so it tells me they're using good parts. So, I've been welding with this thing for about four days now. And just show you what I'm doing. I'm building a super custom off-road, overland adventure trailer, whatever you want to call it, uh, to haul my four-wheeler. It'll have a tent on top and all that good stuff. So I've really been running this machine a lot. I've had no issues with it until today. I noticed that when I would quit running a bead, I was still blowing shielding gas out of the gun. And uh, I called customer service. They put me in touch with their tech guy. He told me what the problem was. He's sending me a part. They've got a three-year warranty on this machine. If I'm not mistaken, Lincoln has a three-year warranty on their machines. Uh, they also have a 60-day no-hassle Send it back if you don't like it. And I told my wife the first 60 days I was going to give this machine a workout. So, long story short, I recommend the machine. So far, I've only had that one issue. And they have uh, were pretty prompt to get a part in the mail. Uh, it's got a an over-temp light. Basically, when you reach the duty cycle of this, uh, this machine, it quits welding. And if you can see the duty cycle, it's 
30%. I've only reached that one time and I wasn't timing myself, but I was laying down a lot of beads pretty continuous. Uh, I've been welding a lot today and I hadn't reached it. So I can't complain about the duty cycle. This is a 220 machine. I'm using 2575 gas. Uh, you know, no issues so far. It, it, it's putting down some good welds. Uh, I'm able to fine tune it. It's just like every other good welder that you get. It's got the chart in it. Uh, it comes with a little spool of gas, a little spool of wire. I'm sorry. I bought a big one at Lowe's. Uh, and like I said, for like 1100 bucks, I got a good MIG welder. I know it's a good machine because I've been using it. It came with a spool gun for aluminum. I hadn't hooked it up yet. And I've got this plasma cutter. Thing is, it's got a three-year warranty on it. So if I have issues with it, and you know, I may do it, I believe they're going to fix it. Everything I read about Eastwood's customer service was positive stuff. So anyway, that's my down and dirty quick review of, of the Eastwood 175. And like I said, I'm kind of a welding snob, and uh, I've been pleased with this. I don't know that I would buy my next welder. I don't know if I'll buy another Eastwood or not. I may step up and buy a big, a big machine, but... For right now, this little sucker's doing it for me. Very happy with it. Uh, you know, kind of excited that there's another there's another company out there. It's kind of competitive, man. So anyway, just gonna lay that out there for everybody. Uh, pleased with it. I think they've got good customer service. They'll send you the parts that you need if something happens. Three year warranty. Sixty day money back guarantee if you don't like it send it back I, it, it was worth a shot i'm glad i did all right well you guys have a happy new year bye